Hello everyone, this is the uh, Circle PI podcast season 1 episode 3. My name is Ilya Zub, I'm programmer at Circle PI and today we are going to talk about an API for 37 Google's Circle PI fe- features. Yep, <laughs> shameless plug. So what is SERP? SERP means search engine results pages. It's a regular page uh, with Google search results or other search engines. Initially, Google search results page in pages were including only organic results. But then Google started introducing more and more kind of answers uh, that are shuffled across the page, like the knowledge graph or featured snippet on top or some ads or images or some shopping results and much more. And what is an API? API is an application programming interface. And in this case, today we are going to talk about SERP APIs, API for SERP features reasons to parse SERP features. Uh, Some use cases are about SEO, about AI assistant that reuses Google's uh, SERP features like answer box or some data from the knowledge panel, also that's named knowledge graph. Some use translation, some use keyword, suggested keywords for keyword research and uh, much more. Right now we are going to walk through all of the 37 SERP features uh, that Google's, uh, from Google that can be parsed. First of all, it's uh, ads results. And Whenever we search for something that can have adverts like coffee, kitchen cabinets, gaming mouses, books, whatever, there are paid results in in the organic results. Uh, I mean near to the organic results. And let me share the screen. For example, when we search for Google cabinets, we can see this I'm trying to increase the font size. Okay. We can see this ad at the top left which means this is a paid result. This is one of the sources of Google's revenue ads results. And if we are going to parse the results by using SERP API, we are going to have, let me actually check, Uh, I mean showcase. We are going to have the data like position, block position that can be top or bottom, title, phone, link, displayed link, tracking link means uh, the link that is being tracked by AdWords, description, site links uh, like preassembled cabinets, simple cabinet doors. And if we want to showcase it, let me just increase the HTML and font size real quick. We can have something like this. Um, sorry for the running nose. Um, next. We have a Google's direct answer box. Answer box is a 
feature also so named featured snippets that is placed on top of Google search results. There are multiple uh, types of featured snippets uh, of Google sensor boxes. One of them is calculator answer box, which can show the calculator and so PPI parses the data like this. So we have a result and type weather answer box that have all of the data extracted from the page financial answer box like for tracking stock prices or cryptocurrency prices I guess that's it let's check how it will show, be shown here so we can have title exchange stock currency price price movement everything that this featured snippet includes can be extracted uh, of course more data is available on yahoo finance but if someone wants to extract data from google featured snippet this is the way another answer box type is a population when we search for population of some area like country or city uh, so ppi can extract this uh, answer and uh, distribution uh, for each of the buckets also it has a currency converter answer box uh, where we can ask google like 100 USD to Euro and have some something like a currency converter. Another kind of answer box is Flight's answer box, which can can display lights. It's an array of flights. And it also have data from all of these bar bars. Sorry. <laughs> oh, it's stupid. I should have bind these to stop recording and streaming, but sorry. <laughs> okay. I'm actually streaming, yes. Another uh, answer box type is hotels answer box. Whenever we search in Google for hotels, we can get the data from it and uh, let me just go uh, quickly through all of that uh, in, in, without explaining because it will be taking too much time. Okay, dictionary answer box. Whenever we want to have a definition of some word, we can get data from Google. List answer box. Uh, it's a uh, Google also extracts data from website itself and provides an answer as I explained it previously. And it can show some of the tables of uh, list items uh, which are most relevant to our search query. For example, when we search for the French toast recipe, we can immediately see the directions which means steps uh, to cook some dish also uh, it's kind of weird but two years ago uh, google 
started duplicating like sorry for the confusion so google duplicates some of the featured snippets in organic results sometimes they duplicate sometimes they don't duplicate and because of that uh, we list organic results answer box as a featured snippet uh, but it's uh, being displayed uh, between uh, different organic results and another organic results answer box looks like a knowledge knowledge <laughs> knowledge graph uh, but that's placed on top and the third one is uh, third type of organics results answer box list table and also can list nested results <laughs> like several months ago google started uh, displaying nested organic results especially uh, it can be found out when search uh, for something on forums like stack or flow reddit even on Twitter, when we search something like programming related, Google and also yep, GitHub and other programming related relate, related stuff. Uh, Google can show or display. Google can display nested uh, organic results in the featured snippets and featured snippet uh answer box answer box answer box is one type of the featured snippets another one is a table and we can extract we by we i mean serp api we can extract it like uh, having contents with a parser table and formatted formatted Format formatted as a hash or JavaScript object, whatever. And also, it's a, another type of table. And there are some featured snippets that can list multiple answer boxes, one below another. Let's actually check if it all, if it uh, works this way right now. So I'm clicking on this open in playground, and I'm not sure if someone who will be listening without the video will understand what I mean by clicking here. But right now, no. And also, there is a translation answer box. I guess I should speed up. Translation answer box. Uh, directions answer box. When we search from uh, directions for driving from one place to another, we can extract data like roads, duration, and link to Google Maps. Also, we can extract data like formula and that's it for answer boxes another type of featured snippets uh like short features is available on whenever let me show the screen whenever we search for some shows that can be what watch it online google can display links to each of the streaming services for example when we search for star wars watch online google will display several like 10 services uh, to watch on 
and to be sure PPI we can extract uh, we, we can access the extracted data by accessing available on key on the JSON on the in the JSON response. Another uh, kind of new SERP feature is broaden this search. Uh, let me actually show where it's displayed. It looks like uh, people also search, which is uh, recently, which was recently a bit changed on the Google side. So Google uh, has removed uh, related queries or related searches in favor of people no uh, we'll see later <laughs> okay we want to have broad this search and right now we don't have it but if we are going to check like uh, Elon Musk let me switch to myself. So broaden this search. Let's wait. No, oh, maybe on the desktop. Another, uh, let me talk about other sharp features while we wait. Another uh, sharp feature, search engines results pages feature is discover more places. Uh, it looks like actually, actually it looks like broaden the search or related searches uh, but it also includes some thumbnails let's search for coffee another SERP feature is events results. Google can display events um, local to search parameters or globally. Local to search parameters, I mean uh, we can provide the UULE encoded location parameter and with SERP API we can simply use location parameter. Let's check. No. I don't see discover in broad broader more searches. Okay. Events in Austin. Let's check events in Austin. And locations United States. And with your PPI, we can extract title, data, address, link, and the thumbnail. Like this. Images results is not a sub feature, is, uh, it is a separ separate mm, service from Google. But immersive products is kind of shopping results, like inline shopping results that are embedded into the Google's organic results page, like the main search results page. Let's try to search for the spring dress. Because right, right now it's autumn and spring dress is very relevant. 
this type is a popular product. Related questions regarding results. Mm, interesting. It's broken. Yep. Right now, during the stream of the Serp API podcast episode 3, I showcase how some of the parts of Serp API are not being working. I guess there is already some bug report on Serp API public roadmap. Right now, and I won't go to check. I will simply showcase what we expect to be extracted. So we can extract thumbnail, source logo, source title, rating, reviews, price extracted, price immersive product page token that can be used with with another engine that we support. Inline images. Inline images are listed on top of uh, Google search results. And right now we can check. Again. <laughs> Let's check again. So red apple, click on it. Okay. We can extract link source thumbnail original image and title and we can extract all of them like this this carousel in line people also search for and uh, right now i would like to take a break but i'm streaming uh anyway i can take a break let me switch to myself. Pause your call. Google inline people also search for results. This kind of SERP feature. And let me share my screen. So this SERP feature previously was named related searches, but the name is changing between different interface languages, different devices. So we extract it to inline people also search for. It looks like this. Whenever we search for some famous person like celebrity or uh, like popular brands. Google can display related searches and preview parts of the results for example for Elon Musk it also can display PayPal founders and also open AI founders inline products it's another kind of SERP feature it's placed on top and also it can be placed at the middle of the search engine results page and by using SERP API we can extract data to inline products uh, key to the JSON response and we can extract pretty much everything let's check Title, position, source, price, currency, rating, reviews, whatever. And also let's switch to my set. And okay, never mind. Specification we can also extract original price <clears throat> like all of the data here with scrolling and the 
there are small, not small, like collapsed uh, results and also expanded results. It also can highlight some, some description or some reviews, like editorial reviews. Yeah, and inline shopping is uh, a bit different. Like if we compare inline products, inline products are placed in at the middle, well, not in the middle, but somewhere in the page. But inline products are actually ads. We extract it to the shopping results and. Uh, below those shopping results can be placed at the right or at the top and we uh, have a block position field that uh, that specify specifies uh, whether it's a result from top or from the right like this is from top and this was from right and we can extract title price link source rating reviews thumbnail and some extensions another kind of third features is the knowledge graph knowledge graph is probably one of the biggest uh, SERP features. It's placed at the right side. Let's search for some, like, like Google. And we will see at the right, uh, no, interesting. If we search for Apple, yeah, this is a knowledge graph. It has tons of data. It has description, some like list data. Mm. Also, social media profiles, people also search for popular products. We actually, ah, no, we extract products. No, we don't extract products, popular products. I guess there should be a feature request on Surf API public roadmap. And there are some different uh, types of knowledge graphs. Uh, whenever, like, for example, if I search for some celebrity, no, it doesn't show. But what if we will search for some hotels? Mm. I don't know the name of any hotel. Let's search for some hotels and then search for some specific hotel to check the knowledge graph results. And by the way, this is the hotels results uh, answer box. Double three. Let's then search for that double three portal. Uh, 
in this kind of knowledge graph also includes prices address availability reviews also hotel details details reviews user reviews i mean some q and q questions and answers <coughs> like tons of data that is being aggregated and here we list <coughs> also uh, google can display nutrition facts facts also um, like movies or books uh, released uh, by this person in the knowledge graph also top carousel for people also search for it's also or it's related to the knowledge panel also popular popular times let's search for this original wins and wins choose stairs from a capture and google doesn't show doesn't display knowledge graph also for some local services knowledge graph can be displayed uh, with some products let's let me capture again and here are products from this dental service we can extract link description image and name also we can extract posts of, uh, from google places that are being displayed here uh, right at the search engine results pages instead of the local google maps and also popular times and so PPI supports live results and also graph results from this graph for each day so we can extract the data uh, availability data about some places if google provides that feature snippet also local posts instead offers also uh oh when like future open date if it's currently closed or recently open status also knowledge graph can uh, include merchant description some of the notable moments watch now links to it's it looks like available on audience reviews editorial reviews like it's huge like top of the data also episodes and also some movies formula also bread clubs man it's a lot also also there are google or local ads results api let's check let's search for plumbing
and we expect to see these kind of results like local ads with some title and uh, listings like that include title link rating badge service area hours it's a data from google's uh, my business that is also in included to the google's main search results uh, okay we don't so really uh, so much types of data is being not extracted uh, 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 two bugs these local ads are not extracted to so we have found three bugs already while uh having this podcast maybe on mobile it will work Mm -hmm. at least on mobile it's been extracted also google have a local pack whenever we search for some coffee shop restaurant google displays map and three results for the specific area and sir ppi can extract title position place id rating links phone address hours gps coordinates and also includes link to extended search and also website directions all of these sometimes it also have data like uh, open and closed hours some extensions like dine in or take out or just a list of some data okay another so feature is local results ah no sorry local places results is a separate service from google it's not a sort feature as well as news results but popular destinations is or popular destinations are featured snippet and we can extract data like thumbnail title description price for the flight price for the uh, hotel and what else we can extract drive duration also Yes. Product result is whenever it's a type of knowledge graph actually. And also videos recipes results. They are included uh, usually in the middle of the SERP and we can extract title link source rating reviews total time ingredients thumbnail and we have refined by something and it's uh, it looks like inline people also search for 
or broaden search or discover more places they are all of all of them are similar and we can extract a link title thumbnail another short feature is related questions uh, that are also known as people also ask and through PPI can extract question snippet title link displayed link and also we can fetch the data for the nested for the nested related questions so when we click on some related question on google search engine results page google fetches additional questions and appends them appends appends them to the bottom of the list and we can extract uh, all of this data with pagination and by pagin pagination i mean google provides the token to get the next chunk of new uh, related questions and we can extract them what else mm. so it includes question snippet title link description link or it also can include some images like it's a uh, rich list where it can list title thumbnail some information which we usually name extensions but right now we, we name it related searches look like related like there are two types of related searches so there are related searches here as it are named like previously those uh, uh, eight related searches we were presented as boxes and we have we named them related search boxes uh, but not name it yeah name it and extracted them to related search boxes but then we uh, renamed them related searches and google rename renamed related searches to peop in line people also search for and we extract data to that stuff so for the related searches we can just extract query and link and this data can be useful for keyword research so shopping results shopping results is an, uh, another types of google search results uh, we want we don't we are not going to go through them right now uh, but and the next one is google short videos api these kinds of videos include a video from youtube facebook tiktok instagram Vimeo, what else? Twitter, probably LinkedIn. I don't know the full list. Uh, it's up to Google. But anyway, we extract 
title source extensions thumbnail link and this data can be used to check if your pages are uh, correctly configured do they correctly do, do they have correct uh, structured data because from what i know uh, i may be wrong now google uh, displays some some of the featured snippets based on the structured data and structured data is this kinds of data like lg plus json and like if you're really interested in it it's uh google have tons of information about it also something new show time results for example when we search for movies in some theater interesting i'm surprised i have missed this And we don't have Google why do why no results? Uh, maybe for desktop. No. Hmm. Anyway, this is how it looks like. And we can extract show times in uh, <coughs> show times in each theater and in each theater it's it looks like <laughs> sports results actually which we can uh, which we will discuss right now after it it, it we extract name link distance address showing and yeah and also for titers theaters it's a bit smaller but we can also extract name link show time and type uh -huh. standard time marks okay spell check it's a uh, st this stuff on top of google search results and we can extract displayed query spelling spelling fix and results that are being displayed for or this variation or this variation or this variation sports results sports results is a, a kind of SERP feature that's that allows to scrape results about tennis racing basketball baseball soccer i mean football and we can extract title league thumbnail games uh, teams tournaments game spotlight sports results for some athletes like title profession years played also some stats about players rankings uh, tables motor racing tables standings tons of data on google
Top Carousel. That's pretty straightforward. This sort feature feature lists thumbnails, titles, and some uh, small description. For example, for popular rock bands, Google will display Beatles, Rolling Stones, Led Zeppelin, ACDC, Pink Floyd, Metallica, Metallica, and we extract. CPI extracts this data to knowledge graph bands under not under and we have name extensions link image for each item top sites kinda similar to the top carousel but also with rating uh, reviews description and the link to more things to do. And we have categories like local favorites, kid friendly that are on top, that are filters. And sites, we extract title, link, description, rating, reviews, and thumbnail. And show more link. Top stories mm, that are mostly for news. Uh, when we search for like Elon Musk, there will be lots of top stories because it's a celebrity. This one. And we extract title, link, source, date, thumbnail for each of the top story. And on mobile, there are <laughs> nested top stories. Let me show you. Like this top stories and then instead of top stories news about Elon Musk also in the news also right now you go to Twitter results and we can extract link snippet thumbnail and publish a date of each tweet And also we can extract inline videos. Did we discuss it? We have skipped it. Oh. We can also extract inline videos. Right now we don't so PPI doesn't support uh, extraction of captors. But so PPI can extract title, link, thumbnail, channel, duration, platform. And about short videos like Facebook, YouTube. Or sometimes it's a single tweet. Oh, videos results. It's a separate service. We, no, we are not going to cover it right now. And the last type of SERP features is that SERP API supports is visual stories. Let's check. NFL. Victor results, nine videos, visual stories. Interesting. Title, link, thumbnail, source, source icon. Different visions. 
broaden this search. Uh -huh. And nails. What? Why? So weird. Standings. So sports results are not extracted. Related questions and then results. Those are bad. Five bucks? <laughs> okay. We have covered. Third plus sub features. Let's 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 pop up. So all of these sub features that I have listed and the. Uh, discuss it talk it about I extracted by Sharp API Sharp API have a pre plan feel free to subscribe and try it out or you can even try it out without uh, signing up on the playground you you will simply have to uh verify the capture but but yeah what's next so it was a third episode of surp api podcast we have discussed an api for 37 google surp features and the name of that api is surp api next time i'm planning to have a host a co-host or a guest and we will discuss something uh, either about machine learning for web scraping part two, or maybe something else. Uh, but stay tuned. <laughs> we'll see. See you later. Let me know what you'd like, what you don't like, and. Feel free to ask questions. Uh, I have to practice more.